Bethesda has a big, big, big issue which is affecting all of their games and soon will be affecting Starfield and that of course is the issue of the massive gaps between their games. Skyrim released 11 years ago, over a decade ago, and we still know absolutely nothing about The Elder Scrolls 6 besides the fact that it's in early development. Surely the Skyrim grandma will be an NPC in the game which is fantastic to hear, and the game might be set in Hammerfell, that's all we know officially. Fallout 4 released in 2015, seven years ago, nearly a decade ago, sort of, and the only thing we know about Fallout 5 is that it's coming after The Elder Scrolls 6 at some point, so it's probably a good 10 more years away, give or take. And this, clearly, is a massive, massive problem, there is no denying that. Waiting over a decade for a sequel? That's just not on, and at least to me as a fan, I don't think Bethesda can continue doing this. I was 12 when Skyrim came out, and by the time The Elder Scrolls 7 comes out, I know I'll be at least 40, and that's only two games away from Skyrim. Since Skyrim's release, I have finished high school, finished four years of college, my little system was born, we've had an entire generation of consoles and now we're on to the new ones, we've had an entire pandemic, and Bethesda somehow, some way, haven't even released a gameplay trailer for The Elder Scrolls 6. Now I do want to quickly say, and I cannot stress this enough, I love Bethesda. If you've watched any of my videos, you will know and understand that. Fallout is my all-time favourite video game franchise, my most anticipated game of 2023 is Starfield, and I think that says a lot when you consider Insomniac Spider-Man 2 releases in 2023 as well, and Insomniac Spider-Man 1 is one of my favourite games of all time. So with that said, I think we just need to talk about this problem because it really just can't continue any longer. With the Fallout IP, I think it is a lot easier to figure out. You just hand the rights off to somebody else. It doesn't have to be Obsidian. Of course, they're very busy themselves with Avowed and Outer Worlds 2, but there are a lot of good game companies that could take a crack at a Fallout game, or better yet, use the $7 billion you got from Microsoft to open a new studio that solely focuses on Fallout. They make Fallout 5 and then move straight on to Fallout 6. Honestly, Bethesda Game Studios has free studios already, so I can't understand why one studio doesn't work for one specific game. One could work for Elder Scrolls, one for Fallout, one for Starfield, and that just makes sense to me. We could be getting these new games every four to five years. Obviously, I'm not a game director or a company owner, I've never made a video game in my life, so please correct me if I'm wrong, but why wouldn't you do this? Having three dedicated studios work on one specific IP just makes the most sense to me. But again, I don't know anything about the business side of video games, I just know how to play them. But on top of all of this, why not expand the genres a little? Obviously you have to keep the mainline Elder Scrolls and Fallout games single player open world RPGs, but you can expand the spin-offs. Imagine a Fallout story driven game, nothing big like 20 maybe 30 hours long, and you're just playing the story of one dedicated character set in the Fallout universe. You could make it about a ghoul who slowly becomes a ghoul more and more throughout the entire story of the game. You could tell a really engaging and heartbreaking story like this. Or even smaller things like a Fallout Lego game. I think a few of us, if not all of us, have seen this new Lego fan game being created by Thrill the Will. I think it just looks absolutely amazing and I really enjoyed the demo of it and I can't wait to see where it goes. But again, why doesn't Bethesda just sell the Fallout IP for a year or so and allow another company to make things like this a reality, not just a fan game? Even the teams working on Fallout London, why not say, hey, we'd love to hire every single one of you, I mean, we do have $7 billion in the bank, and help you a little bit with this project and release it as a full game spin-off. We can split the costs or work out the costs or whatever, right? Now, with that, I do understand that, you know, it's a mod and Creation Club proved that nobody wants to pay for mods, but what I'm saying is with people from Bethesda helping with more money for the Fallout London team to create the mod with, they could potentially turn Fallout London into a full law friendly game. Again, maybe that's not possible, I don't know anything about this stuff, but my point is just that we can't continue waiting like 15 years for the next game in the franchise.
Again, going back to Elder Scrolls, sure we have Elder Scrolls Online, which I think is great, but it isn't really enough. Look, the reality is Bethesda needs to fix this problem because behind all the bugs and the Starfield delay and the bullshit they're doing with Fallout 76, which you all know I still love to pretend doesn't exist, Bethesda's biggest problem is the gaps between their games, and somehow Bethesda doesn't seem to realise that these online versions of their games, like Elder Scrolls Online and Fallout 76, doesn't really hold us, it doesn't fill that gap. I think everyone can agree they would never touch those games again if it meant they could play Fallout 5 or The Elder Scrolls 6 right now, and that's really the problem. Again, with Bethesda getting $7 billion from Microsoft, you'd think that they would have found a way to get these games out just a little bit quicker, but it seems like they haven't. And it's really important to note, and I cannot stress this enough, BGS games are not easy to create by any sorts of the imagination. It's not like Bethesda's just being lazy, they aren't. As soon as they were finished with Skyrim, Fallout 4 went straight into production. When Fallout 4 finished, Starfield went straight into production. Once Starfield is finished, Elder Scrolls 6 goes straight into production. You know, they work on these games endlessly. We all know about the time crunch of Bethesda Game Studios when that interview came out. Todd has said himself if he could find a faster way to get these games out, he would. If he could wave a magic wand and let the games come out right now, he would, but unfortunately they just can't. But look, with Fallout, I think it's genuinely quite simple. Just give the rights to somebody else for a while. You've done it before. Nobody's going to complain if you do it again unless you give the rights to, like, EA or something. As I said, it doesn't have to be Obsidian. There are plenty of amazing companies that would love to take a shot at making a Fallout game. Whether that's an RPG or a story-driven game like I mentioned earlier, who knows? With Elder Scrolls, it is a little bit different because Elder Scrolls has always been Bethesda. It's their baby. Whereas Fallout has been passed around a lot and wasn't even originally owned by Bethesda, so it's just easier for that IP because I think as a fan base we're just kind of used to it. But it also helps that Elder Scrolls Online actually still has thousands and thousands of players, good updates, and a super dedicated fan base. Whereas Fallout 76 is losing players, lacking in content, and so much more that I don't even want to get into because again, I just like to pretend that it doesn't exist. Look, it just kind of pains me to know that in 10 years time I'll probably be making a Where is Starfield 2 video, right? And that's 10 years from now when the game is coming out next fucking year. I'm not expecting to see a sequel until the late 2030s at best, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And again, even if Bethesda create an online Starfield game, firstly I won't be interested in the slightest as soon as they mention that it's online, but secondly it won't hold back that itch. ESO proved that, and so did Fallout 76. Look, the whole point of this video is to just say, yeah, this is a big problem and I think it's important for us as creators who focus on Bethesda to speak out about it. And I think that Bethesda really need to sort it out within the next couple of years at best because they already have Elder Scrolls fans crying about wanting Elder Scrolls 6 and the Fallout fans crying about Fallout 5. And in just maybe four or maybe five years, they'll have to start dealing with the Starfield fans crying for Starfield 2. I mean, look, it's a big, big problem, which is why I wanted to discuss it. To me, the answer is right there. Use that Microsoft daddy money to open up a new studio dedicated to Fallout or another IP, while the other teams work on Elder Scrolls and Starfield. I mean, $7 billion is a lot of money. You could do it. I mean, shit, you could do it for less than a billion and it wouldn't even make a dent in your bank account. So, as I said, to me, the answer is right there. Dedicated studios focusing on one IP, sure we'd still be waiting 4-5 to five years for a new game, but that is so much better than 15 years, right? You know I would love to sit down with Todd Howard and talk to him respectfully and just say, you know, why can't you do this? As a fan, help me understand. Because to me, the answer is right there, but maybe to you, that would never work. So as one of your biggest fans, educate me, help me understand, you know? But unfortunately, I am not nearly big enough on YouTube to get an interview with God Howard himself. But I would truly love to do that. I want to understand as a fan, right? And look, like I said, these games take ages to make. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Bethesda games aren't FIFA, you can't just add another number to the title, slightly update the graphics and maybe update the mechanics a little bit, and resell it every year, okay? And yes, you can make the argument that Bethesda always resells Skyrim, but what I mean is they can't update Skyrim's graphics and sell it as the next Elder Scrolls game, right? 
They need to design new quests, all while making sure that they don't break the law, design every single NPC, design the entire map which is mostly handcrafted, design new armors and weapons, record thousands upon thousands of lines of dialogue. Like, making these games takes a while, that's not a secret. BGS games are some of the biggest video games out there, and that's why we have to wait like 15 years for a new game. Again, I just think with dedicated studios for each IP, instead of working on one game at a time, they could have three separate studios all working together on Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and Starfield, and we would get these games out quicker, and with $7 billion in the bank, I can't understand why we're not doing that already. Anyway, that's just how I see it. That is my thoughts on this particular subject. We are going to wrap up here. If you enjoyed the video, please drop it a like. It really does help out more than you can imagine. And of course, if you want to stay up to date on Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Starfield, news leaks, discussions, and so much other content, just Bethesda content in general, please consider subscribing because we do cover all of it over here, and I mean all of it over here. We're also really hoping to hit 2,000 subscribers soon, and we're really close. If you do subscribe, thank you so much for your support. If you're looking for a place to talk about these games, our Discord is in the pinned comment below and the description below we have lots of fun over there so consider joining us over there too if that's your thing anyway with all of that said and done thank you all so much for watching and i really hope to see you in the next one